Hello everyone. I would like to give you a brief introduction to the Think Finance Trade Manager, which you can open by clicking on this button here in the main window. Now the Trade Manager that you see here is the tool within Think Finance to enter new positions in securities or derivatives or to modify existing positions. As you can see here, the Trade Manager has three input areas. The first input area is where you define the type of instrument. So you have to define the asset class, equity, fixed income, foreign exchange and commodities, and the type of instrument like share, forward, futures, option, and so on. The second input area contains the dynamic data that defines the position, such as the symbol, the underlying, the currency, the trade date, and each position needs to be attributed to a book which you enter in the form of a book number. The third input area is the dynamic input data, which means the market data that is used to price the position. So let's do an example. Let's assume I would like to create a new equity option. So I choose equity here. I use as a type option. And now you see there is a list of different types of options and I'm choosing here a barrier option. So now what you see here is the trade manager input dialog for a barrier option. So let's move to this static input area. So to start with, I have to define whether I want to call or a put. I take a call, barrier type, down, knock in. And uh, let's choose an underlying. And let's choose an underlying from the S&P 500 or let's choose the S&P 500 itself. Um, I have to define the contract size in number of underlyings. So let's assume I want to create an option on 10 indices of the S&P 500. So 10 times the index. Maturity date, I choose one year from now. I have to enter a strike and a barrier level. Barrier observation, I choose daily. Rebate, let's do 40. Trade date is today. And I need to attribute this position to a book. So let's say book number one. So once I've populated all the dynamic data, I have to populate the dynamic data, meaning the data that is used to price the position. And I can do that by simply clicking on search data and Think Finance imports all the necessary market data, such as the underlying price, the volatility of the underlying, the current interest rate, and so on. One thing to mention is that if I don't want to enter the contract size in terms of number of underlyings, but in terms of a currency amount, for instance, I would like to create an option on uh, 10,000 US dollar underlying, I can do that by just entering a dollar sign and then the amount. So this is now $10,000. And when I click on search data, this is automatically transferred to the number of underlines. So once I entered all necessary data, what you'll find here is a variety of different additional analysis functions, such as I can plot the underlying, I can run a backtest of this option, or I can look at a risk analysis. So let's do that. I click on risk and the risk manager opens. And you, what, what you see here is the valued risk distribution, which I can customize here in terms of granularity of the plot. And you see a variety of risk figures on the right hand side, such as the valued risk, the delta, gamma, vega, and so on. Once you're finished with entering a position, you can click on OK, and this option is imported into the main window, as you can see here. And this option can now be used for all the other analysis functions within Think Finance, such as I can 
run a benchmarking report, I can run a backtest, or I can use it in portfolio optimization. One thing worth mentioning is that there is a second way for opening the trade manager, which is using the instrument selector here. For example, if I know I want to enter an equity option, what I can do is I go to equities option and I right click on the option here and it automatically opens the trade manager dialog for an option in equities. Or if I want to enter a new position in ETF, I go to ETF, I right click and the trade manager dialog opens to enter a new ETF. That concludes the introduction to the Think Finance Trade Manager. If you would like to know more about the Trade Manager or any other thing, Think Finance function, then please visit our website thinkfinance.eu. Thank you for watching and goodbye.